Hola, como estas? This is Tamara Marie. And in this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite resources to improve your conversational fluency in Spanish. So if you listen to episode 29 of the Learn Spanish Con Salsa podcast, then you'll know that I interviewed Shay Spence, who is the founder of Español en Tres Mil or Spanish in 3000. Uh, and the theory behind Español en Tres Mil is that you can learn to speak Spanish conversationally if you just master the 3000 most frequently used words in Spanish. So I want to go through just a little bit about what you can expect when you sign up for Español en Tres Mil and also why I find it to be a valuable resource for your listening comprehension and conversational fluency. So first, when you go to the website, you'll see this main page about getting started with conversational Spanish fluency, right? So they give you um, instant access when you enroll in the course. And just so you know, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee um, and everything on the site is also mobile friendly. So not only can you access it on your desktop, like I'm showing you now, but you can also access it and not lose any functionality uh, when you're using your mobile phone. The basis of Español en Tres Mil is that you listen to real life native conversation. So this is actually native Spanish speakers talking to each other, which as you know, I always recommend that if you're going to reach conversational fluency and improve your listening comprehension, you need to use authentic content, which is content of native Spanish speakers. So Espanol en Tres Mil fits that mold. I also recommend that you use a resource that has transcripts, which you'll also find on the site. Um, and there's actually some really cool features with the transcripts uh, that are provided that I will show you in a minute. It also allows you to repeat. So this is also great for allowing you to train your ear to understand Spanish. And then they give you mini lessons. So these are some practical guides for explaining any expressions that are used or any cultural aspects of the language that's used in a particular conversation. So it's actually a really great resource. Now, once you log in, you'll see this dashboard and it's organized into seasons, uh, which if you didn't know, it's temporada. So that's the word for season in Spanish when you're referring to a series such as this one. And each season has four episodes. So if you look on the dashboard here on the side, um, you can see all the options available and you also see the list of all the seasons. So right now there are 15 seasons available. So you have plenty of content that you can find to help train your ear to understand Spanish spoken by native speakers and also cover a wide range of topics. All right, so let's get into it because I want to show you some of these really cool features that you can get when you actually are uh, using the, the platform provided here. So this is season one. And as you can see, one thing right off the bat, there's a flag here. And this indicates the different dialects or different countries that are represented in this particular conversation. So this one happens to be uh, the Colombian accent, uh, but there are several different accents featured, even though uh, this is based in Medellin, Colombia. There are also native Spanish speakers from other areas because a lot of people live in Medellin that are from different parts of the Spanish speaking world. So it's a great way to get exposure to different dialects as well. So as you can see, as I mentioned before, each season has four episodes. So let's just look at the first one, El Metro de Medellin. You'll have a conversation, then you'll see interactive conversation and the mini lesson. So let's take a look at the conversation first. As you can see, there is a very well organized uh, transcript. So the color coding helps you kind of track which speaker is speaking. So I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to start playing a little bit just so you can hear. ¿Qué más pues? Ave María. Expresiones muy paisas. Okay, so let's just give you a little flavor. There's always an introduction and then they get into the conversation. I want to draw your attention to two really helpful features that are provided in this transcript. So it's not just sort of reading along. Um, as you can see here, when I scroll over a particular word, it sort of gets highlighted. Now let's say I don't know what a word means, right? So let's look for something intentado, all right? Let's see what that means. So I can actually click on it 
and right within the platform, it brings up the definition. So I can actually see here the definition and the translation into English. So that's a really cool feature so that if you get stuck, you don't have to leave the site. You can come right into here and just click on the word and the definition will come up for you. Another uh, option that you have, which I think is really, really helpful, as you know, native speakers can tend to talk pretty fast. And I always recommend if you have trouble understanding the normal conversational pace of speech, that you should listen to the audio slowed down and then listen again at regular speed. So there's a really easy way to do this on the interface. There's a little clock icon right here next to the audio player. And if you click on it, it allows you to slow down the audio. So 1.0 is playing at regular speed. I can slow that down. 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. So however slow I need to make it. Any, any lower than that really starts to sound weird. If you go down to 0.5, I wouldn't recommend that because it will sound really, really distorted. Uh, but yeah, you can slow it down. And then let's see. We can play it again. X out of that. And now it should play slower for us. Muy colombianas, tanto como lo es el metro de Medellín, que cada año atrae turistas. So, wow, you can really hear the difference there, right? It slows it down so you can catch every word and then you can go back to regular pace. So that's a really great option that's provided. Now let's look at the interactive conversation. Um, this has one feature that you won't find in the regular conversation. Um, and this is really just kind of helping you keep your focus. So for the interactive or conversación interactiva, when you hit play, ¿Qué más pues? Ave María, expresiones muy paisas. You can see that it actually follows along with the dialogue for you so that you can actually uh, keep track of where you are. So this is very helpful if you get lost, you need to really keep track of where you're going. You can also from here download it if you click these three little buttons right here. It'll actually allow you to download uh, the dialogue, which can also be really helpful uh, if you need to access this when you don't have uh, internet connection, all right? And then after you go through the conversation a few times, you can do the mini lección. So this is a mini lesson that actually just breaks down some of the expressions that are used. So again, there's always an intro, and then they go through different parts of the dialogue, and they actually explain to you um, exactly what is meant, and they highlight some of the, the words here if they're used in a particular expression that they think um, may be difficult to understand if you're not a native speaker. So that's really, really helpful, and it makes sure that nothing gets lost in context and you don't sort of lose track of, of uh, what you're listening to, right? Make sure that you really understand everything. And this is all done by native Spanish speakers from Medellin, Colombia. So it is very well done. Um, and again, here, even for the mini lesson, you can slow down the audio as well. So it's a really, really great resource. And as I mentioned, with all the different seasons that are available, or temporadas, there are several different topics uh, covering lots and lots of different accents. So you're bound to find a conversation in here that you like. I know one that I found that I really enjoyed uh, was actually a dancer from Cuba who was living in Medellin. And, and she talked a lot about music and dance, of course, one of my favorite topics. So I really enjoyed listening to that conversation. And I also got some more exposure to Cuban Spanish here as well. So here are all the accents featured in the course. So Colombia, Mexico. Venezuela, Argentina, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Cuba, Ecuador, and España. Okay, so you get all of those um, exposure to all of those accents. Although, again, the teachers uh, that are speaking are primarily from Medellin. So if you have a particular interest in that region, this is definitely, definitely a great resource for you to get used to that particular accent. But again, you'll also get exposure to all these other accents as well. All right. And again, as it says up here, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, so I definitely recommend that you check this out. Uh, this is a really, really great resource um, that you will start to see results. And again, if you're not listening to native Spanish speakers, uh, having just normal day-to-day -day conversations, it's really, really hard to build your conversational fluency 
and to be able to understand those conversations. Um, there are a variety of different speakers here. They're all from uh, different areas. They all tell different stories and they're just having casual conversations in the streets of Medellin. As you see here, when you go to the dashboard, you can always pick up where you left off. So that's also a great feature. So you don't have to remember, you know, sort of which uh, lesson you were in and which season you hear you click here for resume at last point and it'll take you right to the episode so again great resource for improving your conversational fluency and your Spanish listening skills make sure if you want to get a discount that you go directly to this page that I showed you uh, which you can actually access at learn Spanish con salsa.com slash tres mil or in English, learn Spanish con salsa.com slash 3000. Uh, and that'll take you right to this page here and you will get a discount on the course. I hope this has helped you get a little bit better insight into one of my favorite resources for uh, improving your conversational fluency and your Spanish listening skills. So I hope you'll definitely check it out. Learn Spanish con salsa.com slash 3000. Adios.